Hello and welcome to another edition of ExpressionWeb.us. Today we're going to be making a video on um, how to create a form with multiple fields and send the data using PHP. Uh, <laughs> I guess that sounds pretty technical, doesn't it? But um, really it's not as bad as it sounds. We made this video how to create a form and send the data using Expression Web. But uh, in this video that we made, it only showed really how to uh, send one variable of information, essentially one field. It was a, a comment box, really. So when we got some questions and we looked at it a little bit closer, uh, we realized we needed to do another video to show how to do it with multiple fields. So that's what we're going to do uh, today. Uh, so let's get uh, jump right in and uh, get started. Uh, today we're actually using Expression Web 2. Uh, actually, don't have Expression Web 4 on this uh, particular computer I'm using. I, I wanted to show you one little trick here. Is it uh, sometimes when you come up, these uh, task panes might get out of um, different sizes and be kind of come out of whack a little bit. And if you want to reset them to the normal size, uh, you just go to Task Panes and look up all the way down here to say where it says Research, uh, Reset Workspace Layout. And you just simply click on that and it brings it back to makes all the task panes the same size. So, um, so getting started, uh, really what today we're going to do is we're just going to make a, a very simple website, uh, a, a one page website. And uh, so we'll just come over here to uh, File, and uh, we'll go New, Website. It's going to be a one-page website. And uh, we'll just call this uh, Form 1, and just go OK. And then that creates this folder up here with our default home page. And then we just double-click on this. And that brings us into uh, split view. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a form. And uh, actually, I enjoy making forms. They're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Um, and we'll be using this toolbox over here. And uh, what we'll do is come over to where it says Form Controls. And where it says Forms, we're just going to drag this uh, in between the body tags. So that's this is the body tag. So take this form and just put it right between the body tags like that and then um, while we're here um, where it says action uh, between the double quotes there we're just going to save ourselves some time and type in send.php and that'll save us a little headache later and then we just go save now here's the form now you can see it in the design view once you save it and so we're going to um, just give ourselves a little breathing room here. So we're just going to hit enter and put in some um, tags. And the one thing to uh, be aware of when you're making a form is just to make sure that you stay within the form tags themselves. So um, so here's let's get started. We just type in, uh, this is just going to be a registration. So we're just going to call this registration uh, confirmation. And then um, just type that in, that's free free text. Then we'll hit enter, it'll drop us down. And uh, the first field we're going to put in is name. And just type that in, and then you hit enter again, it drops you down. And then we come over here back to the form controls, and we're going to take input text and just drag it and drop it there. And uh, once that's done, we're just going to um, highlight the, the field the and then right click on it and it brings up these form field properties and then you click on that and where it's na auto name text one we're just going to type in what it is which is the name the name field so you go okay there and now we'll hit enter again uh, we'll make a, a, an open space there hit it enter again and then we're going to type in uh, email we're going to hit enter again come back over here to where it says input text and drag it there then we're going to right click and go to form fill properties and we're going to call this what it is again which is email one good thing about this is that you can stretch these so and they're 
pretty easy to stretch them to any size you want. Then we're going to hit enter again, and we're going to type in phone, hit enter again, drop it down a line, and take input text, put that there, right click, we go form field, and that's the phone, and then we go OK, and let's hit enter again, and uh, now we're going to put in a question to try to cut down on spam, and it's a simple math question that we ask people to answer, and it could be really any question you want. But what we'll put is, what is 9 plus 3? Let's you know, hear a fire going on out there or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're coming to you live from the uh, Expression Web Studios, so not exactly uh, soundproofed over here. Uh, hit enter again and then uh, input text, drag that over there and um, and believe it or not that's the form. It's, it's that easy so um, we can hit uh, save oh and um, let me rename this so highlight that and form field properties and type in math. Okay and then you can go back into the code and look and see what we've done here. What it's done is there's our name field, our email, our phone, and the math question. So, and then each one of these fields has a name associated with it. And you'll see the importance of that in just a minute here. Um, so, uh, it's actually very easy to, to create a form. Uh, and then we'll save that. So now uh, we're just going to write the, uh, once the person enters the data in these fields, then what will happen, oh, one last thing I forgot to mention is we need a submit button. So um, we've got our fields, but um, once the person hits the submit button, that will send the data to another form, uh, which will then send that to the server. But uh, So we'll come over here, and we're going to get um, here where it says input submit. Just take that and drop it right there. And that's our submit button. So now we'll save it. So now we've got our, our, our four fields and our submit button. So what will happen is once the person enters the data and they hit submit, um, we're going to send that to our server using this next page that we're going to build.